Morning folks, it's turned out nice again. It's a perfect day to do some tidying. I'll tell you about it in the shed though. Where's the kettle? Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello, welcome to Dave's allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment. <laughs> Get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Right, always start with a cuppa. Cheers. I'll wait till it cools down though first because the kettle's just boiled. Um, anyway, welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment. It's July now. Where does the time go? Flies by when you're having fun. <laughs> um, I noticed the other day as I was walking down the path that there's a lot of um, tidying up to do. But especially in the, the wildlife area is starting to, be, to look untidy because there's a lot of brambles and uh, all that, dock leaves and all that. So what I'm going to do today is mainly get rid of all of the weeds. I'm going to get rid of all the weeds. Ha ha. I'm going to fill the kettle off. Forget about it. Right. As I say, most of the day will be spent with me gloves on. I'm going to chop down all the stinging nettles, get them barreled up, etc, etc. But first, like I say, cup of time. See you in a bit. Ah. Right, so while my cup is cooling down there, I'll just let you see there. This is what has become of the wildlife area over the past couple of weeks. So all of this dock leaves and there's a load of brambles all over. Um, oh, I found a bike. I'll tell you about that later. But I uh, look at this Hebe as well. So I'm not going to bother filming all of this. But the next time you see it, it will be a lot tidier. And so will this side be. So while I have my cuppa, I'll leave you on a nice little picture of some orange blossom cherry eh uh, no was it mock orange right i've got some piles i think i've been sitting on the concrete too long ha um so that's it the wildlife area's tidied up Everywhere else has had a good weed. I haven't done much filming the day by, by the way, uh, but I will show you around later on. For now though, since these leaks are no good, this cage is coming down because I want to put some beetroot and some turnips out direct soon. So I'll get on with that. I think I'll have a cup on a minute now. See you in a bit. Well, that's me done just about for the day. I'm just busy filling the water butt in the greenhouse with some fresh water from the tap. Uh, so, while that's filling up, I thought I would give you a quick potato reveal. Because um, there hasn't been many much filming done today. So I thought I'd leave you before I show you around with a little bit of excitement. Now, as you know, this potato it's starting to die back now. It was dug out from the trench where I've got the cucumbers. So I have no idea what sort of potatoes they are. I did show you one of them. Where is it? There. I pulled that out from the top so who knows what's underneath. So let's find out. Nothing lost if there's nothing there. 
but there is something there not bad not bad at all for a potato that was just picked out of the ground that looks about it That looks like about it folks. Yeah. Considering I wasn't expecting to get any, I'm pleased with that. There's enough for a meal. Season a bit. Right folks, I've had enough now. I've had enough, I've had enough. It's seven o'clock, I've been here for seven and a half hours. I think I've done enough, so I'll quickly show you around before I go home and get me tea and all that kind of thing. I'll start off here on this Hebe. Look at the size of the flowers on that. Oh, that perfect timing. Perfect timing. Aye, the flowers, man, look at the huge. Everybody who's noticed has says, how do you get the flowers that big? Now, I'll tell you what I've done. Now, I'll tell you what I did, what I really, really did. Um, can you see here? There's a, there's a raised bed type thing. Now, that's where it's grown from. As you can see there, there's no soil in it. Now, I was in the middle of um, this part here. Used to be, as, as some of you know. Oh, B. It was... Uh, like a bird hide thing so the intention of this all the way along here was obviously to hide me from the birds um so i got this it was a cutting i got it off the, the lad at the top at garden there it was only two foot high when i put it put it there anyway it had a good root ball on it i thought oh, it'll look nice here so i just put the root ball in there and I, I thought, right, I'll fill it with soil when I fill it with soil. And as you can see, like I say, I haven't filled it with soil. So that didn't even get planted. That is the secret to getting massive, massive flowers on your Hebe. So there you go, a little tip. Right, I'll start from here because this is where I started tidying up bit sun glare there them two bikes ignore them for now um i got them given off somebody maybe i'll be able to use some pots um but i cleared this bit up specifically because i will be getting some cow manure and that bit there is me cow manure section i also have this section here which is a leaf mold and as you can see there beautiful <laughs> So I'll be getting the, that bagged up and using it. If you can see there, without blinding yourselves, there's absolutely loads of uh, blackberries on here. But that's, I'm amazed at the size of this. Oh, it's covered in flowers, man, look at that. Covered in flowers. Right, onwards. Like I say, I was gonna like I said I was going to do, I was going to tidy up this wildlife area and it's a lot tidier now. There's no brambles, dock leaves, anything. I've also sorted out my hose because um, I had one of them real things, it's out there. That there. And it was no good, so I've just got a, a one long hose going down the whole length of the garden, which is champion. Um, anyway. I'm still getting rhubarb, 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 and I've tied it all the way around here, past the rhubarb, now that all that's nice and clear, now I did plant some, um, some of them, you know, the packets of seeds you can get with wild flower seeds and all that, but with it being overgrown with um, all sorts of stuff, they haven't grown so I'm gonna sow something else here just in case just to see 
Now I don't know what this is, but it looks canny. So I've just left it. Does anybody know what that is? I know some people will say it's a weed, but what is it? Thank you very much if you know. It's got these, it, well it will have flowers on. Let's see what it is. So I have went all the way around here. There is no brambles in sight. No brambles in sight, but I will show you something that I uncovered over there when I get back round there. So I, all sound. This here is a, a sycamore. It was a seed. It's sort of grown. I didn't notice it because of this conifer. So I keep having to chop it back, but I do use the coppiced branches for like pea steaks, etc. Um, right, back round here. It's a lovely, oh god, straight, walk straight into that branch. Ah, it's a lovely evening. It's a little bit tidy round here as well. I've chipped, chipped, uh, chipped. I've cut a little bit of this, whatever tree, down here uh, because it doesn't do anything. But I don't want to cut, cut it down altogether. Uh, I've also had a little tidy up round here. Not that you'd be able to notice, like, but I can. There, the mock orange is there, beautiful. I'll, ca I'll carry on anyway. Yeah, there is no brambles in amongst that. It's all just plants and what have you. I've topped the pond up as well there. We might be able to see it in there now. Now it's a little bit clearer. I can't see any tadpoles, but I'm sh quite sure there'll be little frogs by now. Um, so I'll crack on. Yeah, tidy. There's a, a pile. One pile is there. I'll just let it dry out. I, you know, there's only so much it can do in a day, folks. I'll let it dry out. I'll stick it on the fire pile, which I'll get to shortly. Oh, now. Wow. <laughs> Learn to speak properly, Dave. Um, so the potatoes. I've given them a good watering, good watering, and as you can see, they're doing quite good there, all the way down. And these, I've just spent the past 45 minutes watering these, and by the looks of the top there, look, the leaves are dry as a bone. That's because now I feed when I water it in the middle of the trench. If you sow potatoes in the trench, in the in the good old fashioned trench method, they, it should be banked up about a foot on each side, and then you water down there. So it makes like a little reservoir, as you can see it's it's looking good. But I that'll give it a good soak because if you just stand here and water and if you're watering the actual top of the plants, um you just water in the top of the plants, especially if you just give it a quick flash over for 10 minutes, that's no good. It needs a good soaking. If you want canny potatoes, especially if it hasn't been raining, get it get it soaked, but don't hit the tops. That Because that could cause blight as well, you know, the hot weather and the wet on it, blight. So if you're not even touching the leaves and you're just going in between the trenches with the water and let, letting it soak up, so it becomes like a about an inch thick reservoir and then all is cool right into my cabbage bed here they're looking healthy there almost ready to pick they they are the primo cabbage as you know there's the curly kale i've had a couple of pickings of this so far and the giant Swedes are still doing fantastic. Uh, oh, perfect. So the, the, the bigger than an iron brew can, everything else is doing okay in here. It's nearly harvest time. Harvest time. So as you can see there, the, um, the leeks are out. I still use them, but they're out. I've just put some of that fast grow fertilizer on the ground 
and give it a good watering for now. I'll be planting some um, potatoes in there. Hey, someone's just getting arrested up over there. Ha, there's a cop out watching us. <laughs> yeah, oh no. Hi, someone's getting frisked. Whoa, what's he been doing? Um, throws right off the scent there. Why don't you? Can you see them there? I don't want to, uh, thingy. I don't want to make it look obvious. It's not going to zoom in. I thought I could hear something before, you know. I thought I thought uh, Martin or something was in the in the garden, but obviously not. Right. Sorry about that, folks. I was getting distracted. Ah, he's proper getting searched there, like. Um, so I'm going to sow some beetroot and some turnips and all that in there because it's still not too late for that. The sweet corn is still the same size, which, ugh, I mean, it's getting bigger, but not very big for this time of year. But I have noticed other people on Facebook groups have been saying that they've got corn on and the, and the actual plants are only 12 inches high, so... It must be a strange year. There's no sign of pollinators or anything coming on there yet. Um, my sunflowers here. Yeah. I'm going to have to stand on that copper's keep watchings. <laughs> this is my, fir my first sunflower. Woohoo! It's not very big, like, but that's the first sunflower of the sunflower challenge. Sorry if I keep just pausing for a second, folks, because uh, I just want to know what's going on. But I'm getting sunflowers on. Sunflower challenge. No sign of beans yet. Them coppers are probably thinking, what's he doing? Um, now, right here, I don't know if I've made a mistake here or not. But I noticed when I was weeding round the herb bed here, this, this bay has started throwing off suckers from the bottom. So I took some off and transplanted them and hopefully they'll root in there but they've went a bit droopy so I don't know if I've done the right thing anyway that's enough of that uh, carry on folks carry on my broad beans are doing okay in fact I have noticed today there I've got some on so they're starting to things are starting to happen now they are this onion here the one from seed the giant Peter Glazebrook one that's our right size. That one looks about the same size. Hey, I wonder if I'll be able to get five of the same size onions grown. Maybe it's for Harrogate. Um, Michelots. They'll be ready to pick soon. The carrots are getting bigger. If you can see there. So everything's doing all right. Like I say, everything's had it. Whoa! I've just spent the past hour and a half watering everything. Ah, them coppers are gone now. They're probably on the way around here. What's happening? Um, the cop, the coppers are gone. <laughs> oh shit! What was I talking about? Um, I meet me shallots ready soon. I've been given every. Ah, that's where I was. I've been given everything a good watering. Like I say, an hour and a half on everything, and. Before I walked out the day, I went round hand weeded in between and got right up towards the onions and it looks great. The rose starting to thicken up. There was a few red onions there that had uh, bent over so they weren't going to grow anymore. But there is a few. Um, but the these are stir on onions and they're doing great. Best year ever for onions. As you can see there, these ones, this one here especially, that just keeps on growing. Being that, well, it's, it's that you could pick that now, but as you can see, it's still growing, as are all other ones. So, not until the flop over will I be harvesting these. It's just a sea of onions. Now there's been a bloody magpie flying about all day. 
bloody thing. Oh, just before I forget as well, I've noticed there's been a blackbird following us around all, all day and there must be nesting in there, which is cool. So that's awesome. I keep my eyes open. I didn't want to disturb it, but I, when I was watering the onions here yeah, before, it was coming up in between the onions and picking like little bugs, bugs off the soil. Can you? Um, have I done anything else? No, I've chopped back the comfrey the other day, it's starting to come back already. These chrysanthemums aren't doing very much. This rose from the cutting, still looking nice there, like getting like a white pinky sort of like colour and someone said that the black spot now um I know oh, that's finished now that flower the black spot um but the bush that I cut that from is covered in black spot it doesn't seem to affect it but it might affect this one so I, rem I will remove the bits of black spot Stick them on the fire pile. Uh, oh aye, the artichoke. I'm going to quickly pause this, folks, because um, I'm getting up to my limit. Right, I'm back. Um, aye, the artichoke's getting a bit heavy there. And it's fell over. It's still alive, like. Oh, you bugger, I just got pricked. Ow! <laughs> I didn't know they were prickly, like, but yes, they are. Um, that's fell over which has given us a good chance to get in amongst it and start weeding and um, as you can see here there's, they're all starting to grow back already that wasn't there 10 minutes ago <laughs> aye it was uh, but it's starting to flop right over I don't want it to hit the onions so I've got one of them green wires I'm supporting it. Hopefully it'll not fall over altogether. But look, I forgot to show you these last time. Tear berries. Absolutely covered. Loads. Loads and loads of tear berries. Now, if you haven't heard of a tear berry, it's a cross between a, a raspberry and a blackberry. And they originate from the banks of the River Tay. So there you go. Let's get back on back on track. Whoa, it's slippy on there. And his rose, I've given this a good pruning back and what have you. It's uh, all of the dead and dam water damaged leaves coming off and all that kind of thing. And I've noticed as well today one of our dahlias here has opened up. There's a few more on there. Nice man, nice in it. Not like a bit of fluas. Fluas for me little girl. I covered. I'm well pleased I chose this rose. Um, anyway, crack on. This needs a good pruning back. It's starting to get out of hand. But there's always, always another day. These dahlias are coming up. The dahlias are coming up roses. That's a pom pom one down there, I can't see it, so I'll have a look from round here. From round here. You see that? They're not as good as last year, but they're starting to, starting to come. What's that you say? Yeah, man. They're starting to come, all right, Dave. Now crack on. I'm telling you, book by. All right, I'll crack on. Um, now these convolvulus, look, convolvulus. These were the ones that were in the greenhouse. I thought I'd better plant them out because they were getting a bit long. And look, flowers. Beautiful, them. Lovely little, they're like sort of uh, pentagon shaped or hexagon shaped flowers. Lovely. They're starting to close up now because it's like I say it's well it's half seven now. Um, I'm glad these have grew again because as some of you know I, I won these seeds off um, Marina Wilson 
who is sadly no longer with us. Um, so these, I, I sowed these convolvulus seeds in memory of Marina and I put some in there as well in this hanging basket. There's a, a white one there. So like I say these flowers are in memory of Marina Wilson who sadly passed away this year wasn't it last or oh, no I it was this year sorry so I'm glad they've flowered anyway right crack on the peas they're starting to die back now come to the end which isn't isn't a, a bad thing you know they can't last forever because who wants to live forever in fact wait there be back in a sec folks who wants to live forever Right back on with the tour. What's happening? The carrots are still doing all right here. All right. So I'll hopefully get some carrots. The convolvulus, convolvulus, convolvulus in the hanging basket things or aren't flowering yet. But at least I know that they are now convolvulus. Um, <coughs> into the greenhouse. The garlic is starting to dry out nicely. Be ready to use soon. Splendid. <coughs> now I'll start here. I've got a cucumber. Since the last time these have shot up. Cucumber. Getting there. And there's loads more coming on. All over. So I've been giving these a feed every once a week and giving them a good watering around the tub and they seem to be doing all right there's another one that's a tasty king and that is a burpless wonder so they're doing all right these peas I need to get them out but I'm I'm positive they're going to just fail again so I'm not really bothered I am bothered because I, I like peas but uh, there's other things. What was I showing you? Ah, these uh, Pablano chilies. I don't know. There's flowers on, but they keep dropping off. Why do they keep dropping off? Maybe it's too wet. I don't know. Someone will let us know. Now, but yeah, the first harvest, the first harvest of the year. And there's enough for a meal, whoever a meal is. So there's them red onions, the ones that had flopped over and it hasn't got white rot or anything or red rot <laughs> so I'm quite pleased with them even though they are small there is bigger ones in the ground which are still growing so that's like I say a little bit there's a couple of small ones but you know first time ever and there that's one of the obviously the white onions that had flopped over as well all the rest of the onions, as you see, are doing canny. There's the leeks. Not sure, not sure when as like, but good enough for a pot. The hell is that? Ah, oh, this soil. And some kale. So that's splendid. Get that there. Splendid. Can you see all that? Cool. Right. This beetroot needs to go out, which I will be doing now that them leeks are away. The grapes, fantastic. All the way, man. All the way. I'm going to have too many. I think I might have to start making some wine again. Try me hand at some wine. Right, the avocado. Avocado. That's doing great, man. Romping away, as are the tomatoes. These are the red alert, starting to get some some tomatoes on, as you can see. And they're the the beefsteak ones, which I showed you last week. And yet again, I have been well. I've got the soaker soaker hose on this. I've just filled the soaker hose, um, the the water butt there before. And everything's getting a good soak and I have been feeding now twice a week with the tomorrow tom right 
and the moonshine, which is cool. Um, no sign of any French uh, Blue Lake climbing beans or anything that, uh, yet. I hope they do come. I like them, like, but I just starting to get loads of these red alert on here, like, get in. So that's about it. Is there anything else I can quickly show you while I'm here? No, nope. so I'll spin you around. Thanks for watching, folks. What? Give us two seconds. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, I hope everybody's garden's doing all right. And we'll have good weather and all that. And uh, everybody has a good crop and all that kind of thing. Um, what else can I say? <laughs> Thank you for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. I will see you on the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye now. All the crops just go with the flow. Water rain is also a must, cause in the summer year you saw turns of dust. Don't leave the bed, but dip, bed, but dip, Peace. Tons of dust don't reach so near the drink Don't let them go dry when there's no rain in the sky